okay, this is pretty bad. This is, this is not good news for the crypto industry, but specifically for one specific crypto and a specific exchange, Binance and CZ are getting sued by the CFTC. They're some of the largest holders of crypto. There are rumors now that CZ has up to 300 trading accounts. They've been dodging the U.S. Uh, laws. They've been trying to encourage people subtly to skirt around the laws. I want to talk about this and talk about what the CFTC is alleging and what this means for Binance because we can all sit here and look at news articles posting about how CZ is getting sued. But what does this really mean? Is it bad for crypto or not? So I'm going to break all this down and some good news towards the end that actually came out of all this. If you don't mind, please hit subscribe underneath the video, turn that bell notification so you know right when I fu uh, post future videos. There's also a link down there to the Patreon in case you want to know where I'm moving my crypto, what crypto I'm moving and selling and buying. You can check out that link underneath the video. Now, I want to be clear up front. I don't hate Binance by any means. I use them. They're probably the exchange I use the most. Uh, and I think that they have done a good job of making it really easy to trade in and out of cryptos. I keep 99 0.9% of my crypto on cold storage and hot wallets, but eventually you need to trade and Binance has done a pretty good job of making it easy to do so. So right off the bat, I want to say that I'm not getting paid by anyone to say any of these things, but I, I think we just need to have an honest conversation because if there's a problem with Binance or a problem at Binance, we should be honest and open and talk about it. That's what I do on this channel. I'm not sitting here trying to, uh, you know, hold up the entire uh, exchange by myself. I, I think it's more important to sound the alarm bells if there's something going wrong or to calm people down than to just, you know, say that everything's fine and not really go through what happened and what is happening now. So, uh, for everyone that's just saying I'm spraying FUD, you know, you can go to a different channel. But for everyone that wants to know what's actually happening, stick around. Now, the whole top 10 crypto list is down here today. BNB is down the most, 5.9%. Uh, and, you know, it's done pretty well in this bear market, barely being down 50% now. But it's down a, a good amount today because of what just came out from the CFTC, from uh, from finance as well and what's happening there. So well, let's go through this. This is a really good thread going through some specifics in this case and what they're alleging. I, I have not gone through the whole 74 page document, so it's just easier to go through these kinds of threads. They say the case is up and it's bad. This is the CFTC attempting to strike a fatal blow to Binance. And at first read through, I think they actually have a really strong case. So what what happened? Well, first of all, they say this is the case we've been long heard rumored that Binance denied, and it's going to go straight for the jugular. And I've been saying this for a while. You know, there's no point in keeping the majority of your crypto on an exchange like this. Just keep whatever you're trading or take your crypto off. There's no reason to hold it on the exchange. You should take it off because um, there have been some questions and rumblings about Binance for months now. This points out to specific actions to broker U.S. exposure to leverage products despite access controls. And uh, they're talking about how basically they tried to get VIP customers uh, on Binance instead of Binance.us, I believe, um, through maybe VPNs and that kind of thing. There's another article that talks about, you know, seven different quotes from some of their messages, which is kind of crazy. But we'll, we'll go through some more of those now. It notes defendants have dis regarded applicable federal laws while fostering Binance U.S. customer base because it has been profitable for them to do so, and points to internal reporting of their product revenue being derived from what they knew were U.S. customers. So basically, they try to bring over U.S. customers over to Binance, maybe have them do leverage products because they can make more money off of them. Binance, CZ, and, Lee, and Lim are all listed in seven violations of CEA, uh, CEA, CFC, and USC, and suggest all of CZ's held Binance entities are under CZ for, the, for this case aiming to pierce corporate veil. It also specifically targets Binance US trading arm Merit, Peak, and BAM, Binance US. They've got chat records and other documents from CZ directly on these matters. 
They also go after the fact uh, of manipulation and self-dealing, identifying that there are more than 300 house accounts owned by CZ, Peak, and Sigma. And Sigma chain used to used in proprietary trading and note it takes no reasonable anti-fraud or anti-manipulation steps. So if this is true, if they really have 300 accounts held by just a few entities at the top of the Binance uh, ecosystem, or uh, basically the Binance company, and they're taking trades against clients when they can see everything on the back end, that is definitely manipulation uh, and is uh, reprehensible. It's it's uh, it's terrible if they're doing that against their own clients to profit off of this. I mean, that's something that Sam Bankman Free did. It also specifically ties in trust wallet, Binance Labs, due to the U.S. exposure, and many Binance employees with U.S. exposure, including volunteer Binance Angels, as ground for a U.S. filing. They designate Binance and its affiliated entities as a common enterprise with UBO and direct control back to CZ, once again as a means to pierce corporate veil and tie together all entities in this. They have extensive chats and documents from insiders showing that they that CZ knew about U.S. customers and took steps to hide that in several internal documents. On all accounts, CFTC seeks to ban CZ and LIM and all affiliates from engaging in any of the conduct described in this case, from trading on registered entities, holding any commodity interests, and directing any trading of digital assets. They also include accepting any funds from anyone for the purpose of purchasing or selling digital assets, registering or or exempting with CFTC, acting as a principal officer or or employee of a registered entity, to, to disgorge or to pay back the trading profits, revenue, salaries, commissions, loans, and fees derived from U.S. persons, to make whole every customer impacted with these violations, to pay civil penalties asserted by the court, and to stand jury uh, trial on this matter. This means Binance US dead forever. And I'll get to my thoughts on this here towards the end of this thread. Binance US dead forever. Market mass, uh, market makers with US UBO gone from Binance. Binance international payment rails in the US or partner nations dead forever. Technically, Binance International is in violation by offering any trading services even outside the US. CZ, LIM, and Binance employees can't work in regulated businesses. No bank dealings in USD that has U.S. relations will touch their money. Binance Labs will be liquidated. Binance could be liable for literally billions upon billions of dollars in fines. Plus, Binance team will never legally hold any U.S. commodity or access U.S. securities again in their life. Now, that all assumes that the the trial actually finds them guilty and applies the CFTC requests but it would sure it would for sure kill off Binance with those made whole and disgorgement clauses. If CZ, Lim, and Binance fail to engage with U.S. courts and fail to defend themselves in a trial, it's likely the CFTC would just win, flat out. And some criminal contempt obstruction charges would also be added. If they do show up and engage, then the discovery process will be opening all the books internationally to U.S. regulators from all entities, including those personally owned by CZ, to churn up other issues. Only semi-safe path is for Binance, uh, for Binance here is likely a settlement with CFTC, which would push for billions uh, in make-whole disgorgement and civil penalty payments, but may allow CZ and the other people to avoid admission of guilt. This would still likely kill off Binance. Returning all fees, salaries, earnings, liquidations for all U.S. exposed individuals and entities all the way back to 2017, so six years, and civil penalties, no way they can stomach that. This will take time to play out, but make no mistake, this is the the CFTC going for the jugular. As I said, the CFTC doesn't go after small, frequent cases like the SEC. They go after beasts. They go after giant cases. They've positioned Binance, CZ, Lim, and other executives at odds with each other and put them in the squeeze of either paying back tons of money or pulling back the curtain on everything they've ever done. With these, with each exec and entity having their own exposure, this is likely causing infighting between the different people. 
Even if they fight this and no other skeletons are in the closet, the, le the legal fees were, will just be insane with all the international entities tied in. Now, let's talk about this for a second. Those are all the points made from Adam Cochran, who you know is big tw uh, big Twitter account and talks about has been uh, following crypto for a long time. I think he makes a good point at the end. This is really difficult for Binance because they are, I, I want to say secretive, they have a very difficult to understand business structure, uh, where all the money is, what they've been doing with it. Of course, they've tried to pull back the curtain just a little bit with their proof of uh, reserves, proof of assets, but they don't have proof of liabilities. They aren't real clear where all their crypto is held. Um, they're not real clear with everything that's happening behind the scenes. And now they're going to have to show what they've been doing. They're going to have to pull back uh, the, the curtain, as I said earlier, and they're going to have to show all the dirty things that they've probably done over the years. And if you think they haven't done anything dirty, you're probably misguided, right? I'm not saying that they're the worst by any means. I think they're probably one of the better uh, exchanges out there. But the fact is, to get to the top, I think you have to be a little bit dirty, and that's just likely, especially because they have been a little bit cautious about showing what's happening behind the scenes. They have Binance US, but just like with FTX, right, the other entity can do a lot of bad stuff behind the scenes, and if they really are trying to court US uh, whales, essentially, over to Binance and telling them to use VPNs and stuff like that, that could, that could be pretty bad. Now... Uh, I think this is going to be bad for Binance um, either way because either, like they say here, you either have to pay a big fine or you have to reveal what's happening behind the scenes. Maybe they don't have anything going on. Maybe they've been super um, clean and this is just FUD, you know, or I don't even want to say it's FUD because, you know, they're, they're being sued by a large uh, government entity and it, it looks bad. So, I don't want to say it's FUD because it is real. It's not just fake. Uh, they actually are getting sued, and this could be really bad, probably will be bad. But they could be wrong, right? The uh, court could find them not guilty or, you know, uh, throughout the case eventually, but it's still going to cost a lot of money. And they're probably still going to have to show up. They're going to have to um, show what they've been doing. I don't think it's good for them. The worst case is it explodes Binance and Binance US, and we could see that you know in a couple of weeks, uh, just like FTX. We could see something like that. We'll probably hear things behind the scenes, like them trying to raise more money or you know uh, some sketchy stuff. And you'll want to follow the channel. You'll want to follow my channel because I will be searching for this news because it this is an important time. Uh, so worst case scenario, it blows up within a week or two weeks. That's basically what happened to FTX US and FTX. Best case scenario, you know, they have to pay lawyer fees. Either way, though, I think they are in a tough spot. Now, there are a couple positives that come out of this. First of all, Binance is massive. They do 10 times volume of all the different exchanges, and that kind of centralization isn't good. It's not. So uh, that is something that that could come out of this is basically just that they don't control as much of the market. Maybe other exchanges step up and are able to offer some of the things that Binance offers to steal market share. And I think that would actually be good for decentralization within crypto. The other thing that's interesting is the CFTC lawsuit said that Bitcoin and Ether are commodities and Litecoin as well. They basically call uh, these digital assets commodities after talking about how CZ and Lim uh solicited and accepted orders, accepted property to margin and operated a facility for trading these commodities. So now that this clears up that Bitcoin and Ethereum are definitely commodities, but CFTC is saying that. And, you know, as they go through this lawsuit, there's one more time where a government entity calls these crypto assets commodities instead of securities. So I think that is beneficial as well. And it's quite clear that the CFTC thinks that these are commodities. And it sounds like maybe they think these are these three are specifically the biggest, uh, the only commodities out there, really, because I don't know why else they'd include Litecoin. Like Litecoin's not in the top five 
or top 10 cryptocurrencies. So if they really thought Polygon or Lido staked Ether or Dogecoin was a commodity, why not include that in here too? But I think that is uh, pretty positive. So how does this affect the rest of crypto? Well, I think there's going to be uncertainty about this. This could send down the market, um, especially if more comes out and we hear more behind the scenes. This could send Bitcoin back down, especially if you know Binance starts selling off some of maybe their own crypto that they've been holding to get some more cash for some of these fees. You know that could cause a pretty big drop in the market. Now, if we fall back down, let's say let's go back out here to the one week. We've had a crazy last two weeks. Like, look at this, right? We just popped up from from seventeen thousand up to twenty three thousand, and then up to twenty seven, twenty eight thousand. Just boom, boom. A lot of this was driven by macro, um, but if if we fall back down, I think we should be looking at first of all the twenty five thousand dollar region, because that is where the uh, 200 week moving averages. That's where we've seen some resistance, a good amount of resistance in the past. So look for that. If we break through 26,000, look for 25,300 or so. If we bounce off that, a lot of people I think will actually take that as bullish, especially if um, we get some good news on the Binance side. If we fall down past 25,000, I, I look for that 21,000 range where we had seen some support previously. And if we break through there, 20,000. After that, we're looking at 17, 18,000, and then back down to the lows, 15,500. I don't think it's likely we go that down that far. I think I think it would make sense for us to retest uh, this or to test this 200 week moving average right around 25,3. And then if we start moving up, I think that's really bullish actually especially with the Fed possibly turning and uh, having to start lowering rates and with the possibility of more injection of liquidity into the system makes a lot of sense. But let me know what your thoughts about this underneath the video. Do you think Binance is completely fine or do you think this is actually a really devastating blow to them? Personally, even if they don't have anything to hide, I think this is still quite bad for them. But let me know your thoughts underneath the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.